What's going on? It's your boy K to the second letter. KB, if you missed that. Yeah. Uh, I am at On The Rise Tour in Houston, Texas, y'all. Well, I threw a little Atlanta in there with the shot. <laughs> yeah. So today, I know you did a couple of different things. I had tweeted about um, even that you, one, visited a, a fan who was in the, the hospital, I believe, and then you also took out fans to listen to your new album in a Rolls Royce. So tell me about how those <laughs> opportunities funny. came about and how that, that seems like quite a day. Yeah, it has been quite a day. Um, so, uh, very encouraging time at the hospital today. Met this sister whose faith was just contagious. I mean, um, I told her that I was so jealous of her because of how committed she is in, in a very dark, you know, it would seem like a very dark situation, mm -hmm. but not for her. And uh, it just reminds me of that, that scripture uh, in the Bible where, you know, it talks about even darkness is light for the Lord. So he's he's not... He's not in any way um, outside. Um, so I was really encouraged by her, spent some time with her. She was telling about her life and her passions and, and what she wants to do, and I was encouraged by that. So we got, we left there and uh, we rolled over to um, Houston Baptist University. There we were met by um, this uh, Bentley, I'm sorry, Rolls Royce. Mm -hmm. I see the luxury cars are so high <laughs> above me, I don't even know the names. So uh, we, a Rolls Royce was there waiting for us. Um, so we pulled up and I saw it and I was like, is it true the little man, the thing in the front, does it go down oh, when you yeah. turn the car off? And it did, and I ain't gonna lie, it was amazing. <laughs> that was set up by um, this uh, clothing company in Houston called Ready Every Second, Rez Clothing. Mm -hmm. um, they came to a concert that I did in Houston probably about a year ago. Uh, one of the brothers saying they were very, very impacted by it and they were like, man, if you ever need some luxury cars, we got Lamborghinis, we got Ferraris, we got Rolls Royce, we got whatever you want, holler at me, you can put them in the videos, let's do it. I was like, man, I'm not putting them things <laughs> in my video, man. I'm not, yeah. you know, I, I'm not that dude. I couldn't see you know, any use for it. Then this idea of the ride along came. It's like, we need a good sound system. We want a quality vehicle. Mm -hmm. And these guys are here trying to hand out their luxury vehicles. So we, we said, you know, I guess we'll take the road, Roy. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so that's how that happened. It was a good time. Played the road around the city with fans packed into this Rolls Royce. We driving up, stunting up people. <laughs> uh, but they got to hear the album, got to share my heart behind it. Yeah. What Tomorrow We Live is about. Um, and then we just parked it in the parking lot and had people come out and just play some records. So it yeah. was very, very encouraging. <laughs> yeah. And is that something you've done, this ride along thing in other cities or you think you'll continue that? Or? Want to continue yeah. it. Uh, Houston was actually, we have other cities scheduled. Mm -hmm. Houston was actually the first one. Okay. Um, it was uh, kind of a test run because we'd never done anything like this before. Yeah. And uh, we did some things right, did some things that we can do better. Mm -hmm. um, but we want to we want to try to make this into, you know, somewhat of an institution. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah. So did you have people looking at you sideways? We did. <laughs> we did. We yeah. did. We did have some, especially when we were like certain songs were on, we were all turning up, you know, in this huge car. And people were like, first of all, why are they in there? Why are they in this neighborhood? What is going on? So I was embracing it. So. Yeah. Cool. Well, you told the people who were in the car with you kind of the theme on the album. What tell the people that may be watching this as well? Awesome. Yeah. Tomorrow we live um, is a. Uh, it's, it comes from a different, uh, a bunch of different places. Um, one place in particular is when I think about um, uh, my ancestors um, who really they came to this country and um, probably the, the most oppressed people group in America, in the history of America, um, at least you know, next to you know, Native Americans, it's very um, oppressed, uh, very much you know, enslaved. We, we've heard all about in school, we saw Django Unchained. These people went through that, but what you don't know is that a lot of these, these people, though under very, 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 very heavy stress, uh, were, were farmers. They became farmers on their own. They learned how to read on their own. Uh, they, they raised families. Uh, they established uh, legacies of hard work and perseverance and there was this theme that I would always come across when I was studying black history and it was the idea of a new day that there was something in the future coming that makes us not fold under the pressures of today because if I mean I was talking about I was telling the guys in the car today that when I stubbed my toe I stubbed my toe. If I get woke up too early, I mean, it doesn't take much for me to be irritated and ready to just give up on everything, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, which is bad. Uh, but these folks went under great oppression, great strain, yet endured, continued pressing forward because they had a hope in a future. No hope, no future, you have no life. 
That's why a lot of folks from neighborhoods that we are trying to reach see value in risking losing their entire lives over an altercation over shoes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or a foul on the basketball court. I'll throw my whole life away and beat you and kill you because I don't see it tomorrow. I know that. I didn't think I was going to make it 21 years old. Just didn't have that kind. I just didn't even see it that way. Didn't think past that. Yeah. Uh, and that's what I want to talk. I want to really develop a view of the future like folks and, and, and our, my ancestors had, like Jesus gives us and through the Apostle Paul with a view of the vi uh, of the, the future glory that's coming. We need a view of the hope of tomorrow to give us strength for today in, in the uh, worst uh, scenario. So that's what we get tomorrow we live. Yeah, and when does it come out? April 21st. Yeah. Yes, that's okay. the day. And I heard today that Kanye is dropping in May. Praise God, and then <laughs> Kendrick is dro dropping this month. So yeah, um, the, the, good to the, be the small uh, chance. Kind of that that <laughs> wave, <and so. laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah. Cool. What well, anything else that you want to communicate? Um, with the project and stuff. Yeah, um, I just I, I just encourage you all to um, to listen to it, give it a chance, see if it would uh, if it was it would lift your soul and really provide a way of escape um, that doesn't necessarily get no no music, you know. Um, dissolves our problems but I believe that God gave us music to encourage us and show us his presence in our problems and uh, I hope that tomorrow we live can be that for you so April 21st get that it's going down <laughs>